Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I wanted to do a kind of spontaneous video where we do a four-way runoff with uh, some different tire dressings that I have been experimenting with. Uh, I struggle with wanting to give my customers a long-term dressing, but I don't want sling. I don't want it to be greasy. I like a nice shine to it. Uh, but I don't necessarily want it to be something that is aerosol based because a lot of those are more solvent based and they tend to attract dirt and break dust and they just look dirty afterwards. And then, uh, you know, once they wear off, it leaves a lot of really nasty browning on the tire. So I wanted to share with you guys, we're going to be testing out four different tire dressings. Some are extremely popular on the market. Some are new. Uh, and some are like one I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it. I've just been kind of playing with it. So when it comes to tire dressings, this seems to be the creme de la creme for a lot of detailers. Now I have this diluted one-to-one. -one. Uh, purchased this off of a website. I'll put the link for all these products down below. Um, this is a Proje. This is a product that I picked up off of Amazon. Uh, had really great reviews. I've seen uh, Jimbo over at Auto Detailing Podcast do some videos on it in the past. And then my friend Billy Bogus uh, has his Auto Detailer Garage Unity tire dressing. Absolutely love that. Been working with that for a while. Really enjoy it. And then the folks over at Jess Car were kind enough to send me out their new tire and trim protectant. This is a product that you can use um, for your dressings as well. That's what kind of makes me want to kind of see between these two. Now, I do have Cerakote on my vehicle, so I'm not going to be trying those products on any of my trim. But for tires... I want to see how well they work, how long they last, uh, what does the tire look like maybe after it's worn off, uh, does it make it you know, look super brown or dirty, does it attract dirt quickly, so we might do just some very quick updates. I want to see if these can last a month, honestly, that's kind of what I expect from a lot of tire dressings that are more water based. Now the only one that is different is this one right here, this is polymer based. This is water based, water based, water based. So again, this is cut one to one, these are all straight up. This is more gel based, gel based. This is more of a liquid and again, a gel base. So we're going to just put these on one on each tire and we're just going to drive around town and do our normal stuff. And I want to do some quick updates for you guys for maybe those of you that are looking for a quality product to offer your customers. It's going to look great and last long enough that they're going to be impressed and continue to come back to you. So, all right, let's get these applied. All right, so this is just after about a minute applying all the products. You can see this one is gonna need a little bit more time to dry before we would have to not be concerned about sling off. A lot of tire dressings are gonna tell you let it sit for about 30 minutes before driving, and that's what we're doing, so I'm not too worried about that. But I will go ahead and take a picture of it after 30 minutes for you guys to see what it looks like once it's fully dried. So this is our Jess car. Here is our ADG Unity. My customers have really been enjoying this. It's just kind of that perfect, not too overly glossy. Just has a nice, beautiful black finish to it. Just give you a couple different looks. I know we're getting a little bit of glare from the sun. But there's our ADG Unity. Here is our Car Pro Pearl. And I will be honest with you, I've been using this last couple of details, really impressed. I actually keep having subscribers say, what's on your tires because it looks so good. This is just one coat. Very, very easy on. You don't have to deal with gel. 
and it dries to a nice dry to the touch finish. So that is our Car Pro Pearl at a one to one dilution. And this is our Proje. So you can see all four have a beautiful black finish to it. I would say similar finishes. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to let them all dry and I'll come back in 30 minutes. All right, so make sure you stay tuned for future updates on these products. Let me know which one you think looks the best in the comment section down below, but we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.